Hello folks, welcome back to Oracle of Ages. <laughs> Oracle of Ages, The Legend of Zelda. Okay, The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Ages. I'm Odinspack33. Um, right now this is post-narration. I'm talking from the future? I've already done this. You talk to this dude here after you uh, warp to him with the Gale Seeds. He gives you a password to go to the Subrosian Smithy in Holodrum, aka Oracle of Seasons. So you go back here, you tell him the password, and you get an item upgraded. Which one? We're gonna see in a second. Not too, not really good with this post narration stuff, cause uh, cause I gotta talk for 10 minutes while I'm not doing anything. I feel more involved when I'm doing it, like while I'm recording. On the bright side, you won't hear my controller this part. Isn't that cool? All you'll hear is my voice and and game audio. I like this. Match is close enough. You tell me free, you know, a five five letter password here. He's, in, he's like, what the heck? What the heck, man? So, uh, you get your shield upgraded to the mirror shield. Do I show what it looks like? I don't think I do. It just looks exactly like the iron shield. Like, from the sprite. From the link sprite. Pretty sure it looks no different. And that is off screen to me, uh. To me getting it here. That's it. Yeah, because, uh, I didn't want it to show me entering the password again. Now, I did all the uh, item, like, inputting to Feyor after I recorded this episode, so you're not actually going to see um, the new items, up at, not until two episodes from now, actually. I also, I also recorded another one, which will also be post-narration, and now, now with the edge I'm kind of going with it, I'm kind of glad it is post-narration, because it'll allow me to edit in some stuff, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it looking forward to editing it in. It's gonna be a blast, I'll tell you that. So uh, right now I'm just showing you where uh, there's three secrets I can get at this point and I still don't know how that bomb one works. Like I went to the pass, I got the 777 ore chunks, and I got the password but Feor just refuses to take the password. I don't, I don't get it. But I don't really think 99 bombs is pivotal to completion of this game. Now, I don't know if I already showed this guy or not. I don't know if I showed the password guy over here in a previous episode. So, I'm showing how to get to him. I may have. But I'm thinking I didn't. I think I could like, cut, and then I can actually go here. So. You talk to this guy, and he tells you, uh... He tells you there's his, uh, brother, I think he said? Or friend? He's in the, the Subrosian Volcano, so another Subrosian thing. Remember this pointless room back in Oracle Seasons? Well, there's a guy in here now, and you tell him the password I just got. I guess I could have edited in this whole putting in secrets thing. I don't know if my secret will be different than someone else's secret, because, because my character's name is Odin, and not Link or something. But, uh... You have to use the boomerang and cut all the grass in three throws or less. Man, it's wrong with my voice. Whoa, I'm gonna have to... You'll probably hear some muted audio. You won't hear me, like, you know, coughing and stuff. I don't think I have coughed. My voice seems kind of off. I don't know, maybe I'm coming down with something. That will kind of blow. So, I failed this first time, I decided to show how close I got. I, I did this like four times, I think, and each time I left like a patch of grass. Alright, so, um, what I did was I just edited out the other takes, so you don't have to see that, it's kind of pointless. I did some quick editing on the fly, I hope it's not really that noticeable, but I had, uh, I had these videos in the wrong order. But, uh, I hope it's not that noticeable with how I was talking just a minute ago. Like, obviously, I'm telling you, because I don't, it's fine, I don't really care that much. But, uh, you get the bomb juice. Now, I don't know how, I didn't, I haven't tr tested these out against an enemy, but apparently they home in on them, which sounds pretty cool, but just from throwing them just now, like, I'm about to throw them. I, I just let the text go by, I forgot to say it's an advanced bomb. They move kind of slow, but they do hop on the rocks or whatever. So, so I'm curious if they hop on the walls. They might. So, uh... There's the treasure chest with the bomb tubes in them. It's kind of cool. Going them is like bomb tube. 
And then I off screen back to where I was already recording. A lot of recording was done. This was recorded in like three different parts. Like there was Oracle season stuff, there was password inputting, and then there's the main footage which you're seeing right now. Which is the actual game. If you're wondering about the map contest, by the way, it's uh it's not on for this video because I don't explore anything. So uh so no map contest, I'm sorry. Sorry if that disappoints anybody. But uh, so I'm going to the last secret guy over here now. So go in here and talk to him. He talks about the great two-handed Big Goron sword or bigger. Is it Biggeron? I said I used to say Biggeron, and there's Big Goron. I get the pun, but uh, you know. Maybe it's an actual word that's it's spelt that way, but pronounced a different way. Anyway, this is back in Oracle of Seasons, and that that music I'm pretty sure just synced cr perfectly into it. I didn't even notice that. That's pretty good. So you tell uh, Biggeron or Big Goron here the password, which is a bunch of letters and symbols, which I guess that makes perfect sense. He's like, oh, I now understand. That's how you forge it. You, you with a club and an S and a D, and another D. The squiggly line, I forget what that's called. <laughs> so, uh, this sword, by the way, kicks butt. Oh my god, it's awesome. Only, there's only, the only one disadvantage to this is it takes up both of your item slots. So you can't have, like, the feather on with it or something. Other than that, it's pretty good. I don't know if it stacks with the red ring, where it says sword damage times two. So it's a, a powerful two-handed sword. And there's no period at the end of it. So yeah, look at that. Yeah. And then I go back here, and the treasure chest appears. With, uh, you know, something in it. It's a big Goron sword. Like I was saying, I don't know if the red ring works with it. I can. I'm gonna have to test it out against the enemy. But it's hard to test out because like almost everything dies with me just swinging at it without the red ring. And uh, I went here uh, by accident. There's a way to that treasure chest. I think it's just a gash of seed in it. It's from. Remember when I played that bomb game and I had to dodge all the bombs? Well, I would have went up the stairs again. It, that's where it would come out, and you get that gash of seed. I can't. I couldn't remember the time of the recording, but I remember now. So it's all good. So uh, if you go back over here, there's actually a hidden portal under uh, one of these rocks here. It's kind of pointless. I and I, and I used the wrong one. I used the tune of currents. Yeah, hey, awesome. I didn't mean to do that. So uh, use the tune of echoes. Uh, good old reliable tune of echoes to go on the little warp pads. And you go in here, and uh. Okay, don't go in there, because I have a power bracelet. Power bracelet on. Man, my voice is apparently really going. Power bracelet on. Okay, you give this guy 20 ember seeds and 20 bombs, and I guess he uses that to, like, blow up this rock. And I forgot to come back in here. I don't know if there's a point. You, you get to choose from two treasure chests. And I remember recording a while back, or just testing it out, kind of when I was doing some pre pre playing. And, uh, all I got was rings from both of them. Maybe there's a chance to get a heart piece. Once again, I'm sure someone will enlighten me. So, if we're asking for tips, if someone's offended, you know, like shots rocks, for me asking for advice in my video, then you know what? And I don't know, you can be offended. Um, so, I'm playing a gash of it here, and I'll probably forget about it. Probably. And that's pretty much it. Um, now we move on. With the, uh, the storyline. Is there other stuff to do? Probably. I did get the mermaid suit, after all. But I think the mermaid suit is just useful for getting to the next dungeon. But first, we have to sneak in to Ambi's palace. We gotta do some stealth. Cause I guess she left the door open, you know, when she left, so we can sneak in now. So guys, thanks for watching Oracle of Ages. I have been Odin Spec 33. 
next time we sneak into Ambush Palace.